up from the depths, 30 stories high, breathing fire, his head in the sky, Godzilla, 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 and Godzuki. Now you've done it! That got Zuki! Temper, temper, Carl. Hey, it's getting cold in here. Of course it's cold. That Zuki just broke the window. But we're in tropical waters. Where did all this fog come from? I don't know, but it sure is strange. Keep a sharp eye on the radar, Brock. I can't see a thing up ahead. Yes, sir. Captain Majors, radar contact. Something real big and solid dead ahead of us. We're going to collide. I'm reversing engines. Hang on. It's an iceberg. Godzuki, <laughs> look out! <laughs> Are you all right? I'm okay, Carl. Me too, sir. Just a little bump on the head. I'll try to back her off, and we can check for hull damage. Wow! We're lucky we didn't get sunk. <laughs> Take the engine controls, Brock. Aye, aye, sir. All engines back one-third. Aye, sir, one-third. Back two-thirds. Two-thirds. We're still stuck. All engines back full. I'm giving her all we've got. You did it! The Calico did it. Brock, we better go forward and check for damage. Right. We got banged up, but I don't see any holes, Captain. Neither do I. Is our hull okay? Yes. But look at that! Why, it looks like an old-fashioned submarine. That's exactly what it is. An old German U-boat dating clear back to the First World War. But that was over 60 years ago. It must have been trapped in the ice all this time. Probably got caught in an ice jam while patrolling the North Atlantic. And then the iceberg broke off and drifted down here. And ran smack into us. We could only free the sub from the ice, we could examine it. But how? It's covered by tons of ice. Mm -hmm. Of course. Godzilla can use his flame breath to melt the ice. Good thinking. I'll call him. He mustn't damage the submarine. It may be a very important find. Think you can explain that to him? No problem. The sub. It looks like a torpedo. It's much bigger than the ones they used in World War I. Perhaps this sub was on some kind of special mission. Could be. <laughs> Godzilla did it! Captain Majors, why don't I take the minicopter and check out the sub? I can land on its deck. Not a bad idea, Brock. Can I go with him, Captain? I can take pictures. I suppose there's no harm in that. Thanks, Captain. Be careful, you two.
Rieger. You're here, Captain. Check the oxygen levels immediately. Our mission is too important for the crew to sleep through the target. Oxygen low, but still acceptable, Captain. You feel it, Krieger? Feel what, Captain? The ship is rolling. We must have broken free of the ice. At last! I thought we were stuck fast for good. Captain Schmidt, I hear engine noises nearby. Krieger, look at this. A ship? But it's not German. Probably an Allied supply vessel that blundered into the combat lanes. A prize of war. Exactly. Take your crew and man the deck gun. Your Herr Kapitän. Enemy vessel sighted. Battle stations. Hold it right here, Brock. I'll get some aerial pictures first. Right. Carl, look at the sub. But that's... Impossible. Crew members. Alive. Doesn't make any sense. Carl, they're aiming their guns at our minicopter. No! no. Fire! Hey, what's happening? An explosion. The rotor's gone. Hang on! Get them aboard! What's going on? Who are you guys? You are prisoners of war. Take them below. The boys look okay, but the guns, Carl. Now they're after us. Prepare for boarding party. If you resist, we shall send your ship to the bottom. Those crazy fools, this is piracy. Careful, Carl. We're unarmed and helpless, and they've got Pete and Brock besides. You're right. We have no choice. We will not resist. Send boarding party. The depths, 30 stories high. Breathing fire, his head in the sky. Godzilla, 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 and Godzilla.